Alright, well I just thought I would do an April update. It's been a few weeks in April. I let some things happen, and I've had some other stuff going on, so I just haven't really had time to do an update, but uh, just get right to it. Here's Nepenthes Naga. It's dropping its old pitchers, but it's got a new one coming right here, and it's put out a leaf jump recently, and it's now a foot across, so good things coming with that one. Here's my Burkinia Reducta right here. Pups are really coming along. It's got four of them now, which is great. Here's my Alyssa Vetrana. I probably get this. I, I like I like these pictures propped up on something, but um, this one right here is developing really well. It's almost the size of the other one, and uh, it, it's all the way down on the table. So um, looking forward to that. Definitely will update you guys on that. And it also has a basil now coming up right there. So good stuff as far as that's going. Here's my heterodox by Miner. And here's my heterodox at Ionastia. And uh, doing really well still. Um, got some uh, basil shoots that are starting to form mature pitchers. And here's Rock Cantlia. In a few weeks, should have this pitcher open here. Looks like it's in kind of a tough spot with the tendril yet again. And the peristome might have trouble flaring out perfectly, but we'll see how that goes. Um, usually ends up working out, but still. Sometimes they get kind of hidden behind the leaf for the tendril, it's annoying. But uh, looks like it, it could have a potential leaf jump. Uh, the internet looks like it's a pretty good length compared to the other ones, which could mean a leaf jump. And here is Raja Loia Vici. Just opened a fresh picture, and good God, I am blown away. I, I mean, I had high hopes for this, and I just think that this is a really, really good picture. And it's not fully open or colored up, but, um, it's, it's just got, it just has such rich detail. The interior coloration is amazing. The shape's great. It's, it's so voluminous. It looks like it's gonna hold a lot of fluid, especially as it gets bigger. Um, just great color. Um, and you got great leaves too. I love the leaf color. Um, and I had got this guy last August, so I've had this for probably about six or seven months, maybe even eight months. But um, yeah, I like this so much better than Raja Vichy. Raja Vichy is kind of an ugly plant in my opinion, but I think for some reason when it gets when it's Raja Loya Vichy, it, that really takes care of it, which makes it so much better. I'm big fan. I'm definitely excited to see how this one keeps doing because this is just the beginning. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So imagine once they start actually getting this as a Raja, like that would be that would be mind blowing. Anyway, enough gushing about that one. Here's Vichy Loya. And I probably could have waited to do this tour another day or two because it's got another pitcher that's going to open up soon right there. Um, here's Edward Sienna. Here's Vichy Loya. Edward Sienna still holding strong for that pitcher. Uh, Florey Collaborative special right here. We've got a leaf jump coming. It's Palavonensis right there. Um, this one never really makes a jump. It just kind of grows gradually, which is cool. But I would like to see some bigger pitchers at some point. I mean, that's why I bought the plant, because I want to see those giant pitchers. Here's Truncata Highland Reddish leaves. Makes really nice leaves. These are the two last remaining leaves that it came with, but the leaves that's formed in my care, in my opinion, are much nicer. And it's put out this really, it's not, yeah, I wouldn't describe this as impressive, but it shows good potential. The, the body color is unique. Uh, the parasome color is also unique. And um, I'm very excited for the reddish leaves. I mean, we all know that's a really good clone. Here's a Nepenthes Peltata, the BE3464, that's been discontinued, so I'm pretty happy I decided to hold on to this because I almost sold it off, but it made a good picture and um, just outstanding coloration, and I really like the peristome, and once this one gets tubby, as it gets bigger, it should be a really good plant. Trues Madiensis, nothing's changed with this guy, maybe that leaf's gotten a little bit unfurled, but it'll have another picture on it probably in about two months. Nepenthes Loei right here about to open a new pitcher. I'll probably just do a couple spotlights. On, for the pitchers that need to open, I'll probably just spotlight uh, those plants later on. But still holding strong to its winter pitcher right there. Giving it a little better lighting. It's a good looking pitcher. Come out across Rob Cantlier. New pitcher coming here. And I also found that there's another basil on this one. It's always had this basil, but now there's another one coming up. So that's pretty cool. 
I'm just waiting for that same thing to happen with Langer Lifter or Fipiata. I'd love to get uh, some lower pitchers on this guy, but right now I'm just gonna have to enjoy these. Which are, and I love how every single pitcher colors up differently. This one's getting a nice wine red interior. I mean, if in, in low light conditions, like in the winter and stuff, they usually stay pretty yellow. But in summer, they all color up differently. And it's, just, it's such a cool looking plant. So here's a uh, Pinty's Jam Band right here. Really uh, starting to come back. It really likes summer and spring. It likes a lot of light. Um, likes pretty warm temperatures. But it's usually a pretty, pretty reliable one year round as well. And I bet these are nervous. So holding strong to those first two pitchers. Got a third one coming. Yeah, very. Another uh, plant I got in September. So I added a couple nice plants last fall. Um, we had these BGI. And this barely has any room to form. I should probably um, lower this basket a little bit. That should be kind of a pain to do that. This Brubigia VCA Cosmolis hasn't really done much. It's become a really slow grower recently. But um, it doesn't look like this leaf is going to pitch her. But maybe, hope, maybe hopefully the next one does. Here's a Rough Kintly Eye, Bristol Coides, Cross Spectabilis. It's starting to get a little dark in here. So the lighting's getting kind of bad, but. Um, no basil, uh, no sign of that coming, which is kind of cool, I guess. Hasn't ever needed to. I'm just surprised, I guess. Here's a uh, Myrmicodia platytyria hanging. Here's a uh, Bellia McFerlanii right here. New picture right here. Nice elliptical shape to the mouth. And there's another one about to open. Here's a. Uh, Maxima Clipiata, which I got from California Carnivores recently. I used some gift cards to get this, and that is really good. I love the amount of Clipiata it retains. I love how painted this looks. And then it gets it's just enough Maxima to make it a little bit more unique. It almost looks like a like some sort of variety of Clipiata. Really nice leaves and everything. It came just looking so good. It was, I'm very happy I got something with Clipiata. In my collection now because I never had that. Uh, Denzaflora, VCI Malleo Basin, not looking like much. Aristotle Acuities, making a leaf jump, looking pretty happy. My new McDonald eye, here's a Parva, Inasiae, Belly eye, Aristotle Acuities, um, Ani Pahan coming back from, the, from almost the dead. Here's a Peltata. New picture on Vichy Loei I Spectabilis. And um, the Spushy Lot of Jack Linea has a new picture right here. It's made some nice increases in size recently. And here's its other picture. What a fantastic cross. I love Jack Linea crosses. They end up always so nice. Like Maxima Jack Linea is a really good one. Platykyla Jack Linea. Spushy Lot of Jack Linea. Uh, Especially a lot of Aristotle Foodies, Lowy Eye. And finally got the basil coming out of it, which is why I got this plant, because I wanted to propagate it. There's Monalina, Species Executor. Here's a Singalana, just continuing its vine across the top of my greenhouse, which is pretty cool. It attracts a lot of ants. Ate a lot of them too. Can't really see in there, but. And here's a Special Lot of Diabolica, really increasing the size of its basil. Continuing just to make nice pictures. It's also leaf jumped. That's a big leaf jump right there on the mother plant. And then there, here's a, a basil pitcher. And here's a, this latest uh, pitcher on the mother plant. It's a nice, good size. Great color. So here's a couple of my he small Heelys. This is Saracenioides cross minor burgundy black, which is pretty cool. It's belly eye, body kyla. Right here, very slow. Uh, this is gonna be forever to get uppers at this rate. I feel like it hasn't, it's stayed in this pot for the last three years, two and a half years, or however long I had it. Here's Tate Falculata, coming back strong this year. So happy I managed to save a division of the original one. Town against this BTI Boskiana. Um, pretty much the same as it was when I did the spotlight video on it a, a few months ago. Here's a Myrmicodia tuberosa. Here's that uh, 
Orchid, Maculia Curtisiae, Madie, Cross Madie, Napa Valley. Good, really good colors though. I love the white. It's so simple. White and green. This fills with water, which I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but the misters oftentimes spray right into it. Josera Gromagloensis, which is now like blood red. Super cool how it colored up under the light because this was very green uh, during the winter. Your Stylidium debile, just spreading like a weed. This is kind of a weed of a plant from what I understand. This grows really fast. It's a protocarnivorous plant from Australia. Some more goodies down here. A couple new uh, fly traps I picked up last weekend from Bay Caps. Now this is the moon trap. All right. So we'll see what uh, kind of morphology the traps have for them to be called moon trap. And here's the Panthes triton, which is a really cool one. Big fan of these. I mean, it's cool to have some more fly trap cultivars. Here's the Panthes vichii. This is the carnivoro, big mama pink candy cane. And that is a really, really good picture. Super happy about this. It's not as pink as the last one, but I kind of honestly like this even better. Freshly opened VGI pictures are just something else. Here's Truncata, Titanic Tyrant. Starting to come back. I feel like I've had this plant forever. I see other people's online and they're huge. Mine's just like, just been so slowed down by pests and just, I haven't grown it that well to be honest. Here's a new acquisition. This is Raja Cross Joculinea back here. And it's a really cool plant. I mean, it, it doesn't have a lot of, I kind of bought this for the, its future because I know when it gets larger, it's a really nice plant. Um, it gets really cool looking pictures. And it's pictured on it's not bad now, but it's just kind of, it looks small and red, but um, yeah, it, within, I'd say maybe another year, it'll have, it'll look like kind of like a, it's, it's a, like a giant fat tubby Jacqueline. It's really cool. Ramus peanut right here, just going wild. Vining. I don't think this picture. I don't think this plant really produces true uppers, but here's like an intermediate right here. It's pretty cool. Orbigia vichii. I brought this one back down. I stopped hanging this one so I could keep a closer eye on the leaves because we were getting a lot of leaf damage from pests. So I just I also orthined everything in the greenhouse recently. So I, we should, that should be taken care of, but um, we'll see. I still want to keep it down here anyway. Here's the newest picture. And uh, here's a Lafaglosum decoratum. Here's the Bilbergia dark vader bromeliad. Starting to really put out some new growth now, now that it's spring, growing a lot faster, which is awesome. And uh, I also trimmed up all the spondianas. I will have cuttings available soon. Um, you, the problem is, is that these actually had quite a bit of mealybugs when I found, when I actually took a look at them and started chopping them and cleaning them out. But, so I'll have to treat them all first before I can sell them. But these were pretty quick. It shouldn't take too long. So, and oh yeah, here's a Ventricoa Cerberus of QAs. Hasn't flowered yet this year. Needed, needed to chop this one up too. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my, uh, April update.